Hi, everyone. Welcome to step seven. Um, so step seven is, if you notice, we're following a similar pattern. So we did preferences for kids, preferences for you. Schedule for kids, schedule for you, family. Um, third day of the first, step three was talking to your kids about what they can and can't do or what's the same and what's different. And now you have kind of a similar task for today is, or for this step, is um, thinking about what you can and can't control. So I saw this visual probably on Facebook or some Instagram of a circle of what you can control and then outside the circle what you can't control. So it's just kind of putting things in perspective and, and getting things out. I always, I'm a, I'm a visual person, but like I have to have it. I have to like write it and do it and see it. And so any way that you want to do that is great. And you can just think it. I just can't think it because it won't stay in my head. So I have to get it out on paper. But uh, things that you can control and things that you can't. And things that you can't control, you have to kind of just let it go. I, that's easier said than done It's because it's not easy. But it's just giving yourself permission to let it go. This is out of our control. It's out of our control whether our kids go back to school or not. It's out of our control whether the internet works for the 10 million Zoom call. It's out of our control um, if it's nice out. A nice day certainly makes my house feel a lot more sane than like the rainy, cold, yucky days we've had too. That's out of my control, the weather, right? But what's in our control is if it's a nice day, do we go outside? If it's a rainy day, what can we do instead? Or do you still go outside and jump in the puddles? Um, you can control, you know, what you have for breakfast. I mean, something so easy, although, I don't know, I said that and I was like, well, I haven't been able to get a grocery order in a while, so we're running low on food. But um, I, you, get, you get the picture, what you can control and what you can't control, and try and work towards letting go of what you can't control. The other thing you could do too is just the same thing as what you did with your kids last time with the can and can't do, like what's the same and what's different, because I think that we're dealing with that just as much as they are what's different for us. I ha I've had so much stuff get canceled that I was really excited about. And I need to give myself space to have those feelings, right? We were supposed to go to Disney as a family. We were supposed to leave April 2nd. Obviously got canceled. Um, I was supposed to go to the National Kids Yoga Conference in DC, which I look forward to. Like I've looked forward to it since the last one in October of 2018 because it was supposed to be October 2019 it got postponed and now it was for April and now it's so it's like a year and a half I've been looking forward to this um canceled you know there's a lot of stuff getting canceled and I get really disappointed um we're supposed to launch a school this fall <laughs> that's I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen we had to um we had to close the yoga studio hopefully only temporarily but that's super disappointing I miss seeing people I met there's so much I miss there's so much that's changed and there's so many feelings that I'm having and as a parent it's really hard to let yourself have those feelings because you just want to be strong and you just want to be oh no we're going to be okay I'm going to be okay because if they see me not be okay then they're, they might not be okay and I just say no I just have your feelings and you can have them in private or you can have them in front of your kids. I've cried in front of my kids and it's been some of the most beautiful experiences to kind of see them grow empathy and worry about why I'm crying and then trying to, what can I do to make you better? They draw me pictures, they do stuff. It's really sweet. So anyway, I think that you can um, do, you know, your circle of what you can control and what you can't control. And then I also think it's worth kind of revisiting what you did with your kids, but do it for yourself. What can you still do and what can't you do anymore? Like what has changed and what's the same? And let yourself have all those feelings over and over and over and over and over again. Because if you don't feel it, you can't heal it. That rhymed. Well, I feel like I must have heard that somewhere. I don't know that I can take credit for that, but I like it. So anyway, that's it for this step. Can control and can't control. 
can do and can't do. I'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone.